Example 1.10 The electric field component in figure 1.24 are Ex equals to alpha x raised to 1 by 2 Ey0 Ez0 in which alpha is 800 Newton per coulomb right meter raised to 1 by 2 Calculate the flux through the cube and B part is charged within the cube assume that A is equals to 0.1 meter See as per the question the electric field only exists in x direction and it is not uniform right it is non-uniform field so if the field is uniform then the net flux will be zero right but the field is non-uniform right so what is happening here but the field is along x direction so when the field is along x direction right it will produce flux through the faces which are perpendicular to x direction or whose area vector are parallel to x so if we uh, see this right face then its area vector is pointing outward so it is parallel to x axis similarly if we think about this face that is the left face of the cube its area vector is pointing towards left side means it is anti parallel to the electric field so the flux will only produce through left and right faces right if we talk about this upper face then for this upper face the area vector is in this direction and the electric field is along x direction the angle is 90 degree and we know that flux is equals to ea cos theta for this phase theta is 90 so cos 90 is 0 so for faces parallel to x axis so this phase is parallel to x axis this phase is also parallel to x axis right this phase is also parallel to x axis and the phase which is on other side is also parallel to x axis the flux is 0 for shaded faces that is perpendicular to x axis that is left and right face we can write flux is equals to ea cos theta now magnitude of electric flux for left face so we are considering about this so it is el that is the electric field at the left face into area of the face and cos 180 why 180 because area vector is outward normal and the electric field is towards right side so the angle is 180 now the electric field is given by expression E is equals to alpha x raised to 1 by 2. So here it is alpha x raised to 1 by 2 and the area of this side is A into A, A square and cos 180 is minus. So here it is minus. Okay. And instead of x, the distance of this phase from origin is A. So here instead of x, we can put A. So here it is x A raised to 1 by 2 A square now it is a raised to 2 plus 1 by 2 which is 5 by 2 so the flux through the left face is negative that is minus alpha a raised to 5 by 2 now magnitude of flux for the right face that is for this face is given by equation er a cos 0 because area vector and field are parallel now er now electric field e is equals to alpha x raised to 1 by 2 so it is alpha the value of x that is the distance is a plus a 2a so x equals to 2a raised to 1 by 2 and a square so here if you solve this means here it is alpha here it is root 2 because here power is 1 by 2 and a can be written as a raised to 1 by 2 a square on rearranging we will get root 2 alpha a raised to 5 by 2 so what is the net flux the net flux is through the cube is phi r plus phi l so phi r we have obtained root 2 alpha a raised to 5 by 2 uh, flux to the left face we have obtained minus alpha a raised to 5 by 2 what is common here alpha a raised to 5 by 2 common so it is root 2 minus 1 now the value of alpha is 800 right and a is given in the question we, we have to consider value of a is 0 0.1 meter so 0 0.1 raised to 5 by 2 root 2 is 1.414 minus 1 so 1.414 minus 1 is 0 0.414 and into 800 so you will get this value 331.2 and 0 0.1 is nothing but 1 by 10 and 5 by 2 means you will multiply this 10 times and then you will square root it okay so on, on solving this you will get 1.0465 on removing this 6 right we have to add 1 here so it is 1.05 newton meter square per coulomb in the b part of the question it is asked to find the charge in the uh, cube now we know that from Gauss law flux is equals to q by epsilon naught so q is equals to flux into epsilon naught so it is flux into epsilon naught put the value of epsilon naught 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 so we will get this value 9.29 into 10 raised to minus 12 coulomb